Hi, it's Mike from iWatchTVOnMyComputer.com. Don't have a webcam going, but there's a picture of me right there. And today I just wanted to do an honest review of Satellite Direct. So what I figured I'd do rather than edit something and make a really um, overly edited video is just go through and install it myself and run through it. And you can kind of see a candid version of what the software is without actually having to buy it yourself. So I'll go through here. Go right to the ClickBank payment page. And I'm going to fill out all my information. This is a one time payment of $49.95, and then you get the software for life. So I'm going to fill that out and purchase it right now, and I'll see you on the other side. Alright, so I've just downloaded this Satellite Direct software, and I'm ready to install it for you. We'll see how easy this is together. Standard Windows installer. Alright, so you can see it's like a 45 second installation. Alright, we're back on the desktop and Satellite Direct just installed and gave us an icon here. So we'll just click on that and go into it. Now, I did tell you I was going to give you an uncut version of this, but when I installed Satellite Direct for the first time, I just realized how many channels they actually had, and <clears throat> this is one of the disadvantages of Satellite Direct, is that it's not your standard cable company where they have a limit on like 100 or 200 channels, and they pick the cream of the crop. Satellite Direct puts out as many channels as they can, so they'll put out channels on everything. Even if we go just straight to the U.S., you can see there's about 750 channels. So you'll get local news, you'll get a whole bunch of different stuff. You can get a lot of really good channels if you look, and if you take like four or five minutes and just try out some, but you'll see a lot of them are not working at the time because the stream is not up, and a lot of them are very, very local. So what I did, I, I logged in a minute ago, it took about 10 minutes, went through and picked some favorites. All you do is go into your TV, you right click and make it a, a favorite, just to show you guys some of the common channels that are on here. <clears throat> like here's a here's one in Bloomberg, and you can go full screen if you need a second. There's a Discovery Channel stream. Welcome to the Wildlife Channel, the internet's number one resource for natural history programming. So what Satellite Direct does is it takes all these different streams from all over the internet that are online that you could find if you really, really search and dug and dug and dug. And they take, and they put 3,500 of them together and then they put them all in this one player. So all you have to do is find it and click it. Another one, ESPN. I've been told this is a, a race that happened maybe a week ago, but I believe ESPN puts up their races right after they're done. So there's some lesser known channels or channels that you wouldn't normally get, like this one's Fire TV. It wasn't loading too good earlier, but. Bundeswehr oder was war als erstes? Waren Sie in einem anderen Beruf eigentlich? Da, da, für mich stand eigentlich immer fest, ich möchte in die Fliegerei, ich möchte gerne fliegen. Another one, another one, which is perfect. The Food Network is a really good one. The FN Dish, your behind the scenes all access pass to everything you love at Food Network. Hey, I'm the Ted here with Cooking for Real with Sunny. How you doing, baby? So we'll pause that. As you can see, there's a ton of <clears throat> not only mainstream channels, but really, really niche channels as well. A lot of older history movies and comedy channels and upcoming Have comics. You think Monsieur de there are actually a lot of really hilarious old movies that are just really good that no one knows about anymore. And then, I just wanted to show you one of the channels that's, you're like, why is this here? This is just a webcam from Key West. So as you can see, that's the one downside of Satellite Direct. They throw everything on here. Which, it can be a plus or a minus, but 
as you can see, this is just a webcam. There's there's Hawaii weather. There's uh, local news from just about any city you can imagine. Just about everything is on here. There's also, I haven't played around with it too much, but there's radio. So in, in general, I like it a lot. What I was going to share is the um, popular TV. If you'd like any sort of popular TV channel, let's say you wanted Lost, I just go into Google and type type Lost, and you can watch full episodes on abc.com. The same with Family Guy, 24, House. So you can watch all those on the streaming websites online, and then I use that to replace my normal cable and don't have to worry about paying $100 a month. And then I use Satellite Direct for everything niche that I want. If I'm going to another city, say I go to Sacramento, California, and I want to watch...